a while, but it wasn't that common at all. As for a split, no, split screen, now we're there. as for a split screen, uh, I uh, think it'd be awesome if they did it like if indeed it's included. If they did it like what Twist the Metal is supposedly going to offer, split screen uh, and the capability to bring a friend with you online. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a problem cool. with, with split-screen games. Yeah, that's not a problem with split-screen games. Like, even Uncharted 3, even that's even the beta screen. has split-screen and you can do it online. The beta has split-screen and you can do it online. Okay, now I really want but that game. <laughs> the beta... <laughs> go eat at Subway, or next time I go, I'll get you a code. Yeah. Or next time I go, I'll get you a code. And I'll play that together. Now we can yeah. do a podcast on that when it gets revealed on November 1st. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but for now, we're still on Transformers. Giant robots and stuff. Yes. Stuff. And stuff. Because even giant robots have stuff. And yes, stuff. Alright, so... Um, Megatron. Okay. okay. Supposedly yeah, he had the redesign. Yes. We, we yeah, just yeah. mentioned him, yeah. like, briefly. And, and like I said, initially Supposedly I thought it was just a tank because of that Autobot plate on the back. And then somebody pointed out, there's this bridge going down on the back, and then there's this little Decepticon. And so the perspective becomes clear that it is really huge! And I was like, okay, I can accept that that could be Metroplex, or in my mind, I think it would be more feasible to be um, <coughs> Fortress Maximus. For those who are watching and don't know what we're talking about, Metroplex is like a city, a city-sized robot, and he transforms, and he's like roughly three times the size of Omega Supreme. I believe fan dubbed as City Formers. Yeah. And I am currently looking up the TF Wiki, the image of him, so I can show it to people. <coughs> I don't have really good G1 images, and maybe I should pick a different continu continuity. <laughs> Turns into a city that people live in. Pretty sure that's big. Going crazy. <laughs> Not really. Wonder how he feels having people live inside of him. <laughs> well, how do you think? How do you think Primus or Unic, especially like Transformers Prime Unicron? <laughs> Yeah, that, that's... Crawling always, always, always puny organic meat bags running all over them. Uh, yeah, that's a spoiler, by the way, for those who haven't watched that part oops, of the spoiler alert. But, yeah, we sort of put something in the video that says spoiler alert. Oh, by the way, maybe. <laughs> oh, by the way, hey, there's a... Uh, spoiler. We can only guarantee information that's fun about Fall of Cybertron. Everything else is possibly maybe spoilerish. Possibly maybe spoilerish. May. Now to look up, uh... I can... Fortress Maximus. I can never remember his name for whatever reason. It's like, I always pause whenever I think about it. Fortress Maximus versus Squad. I don't know why. I want to play a Frenzy and Rumble. That would be fun. Oh, yeah, that'd be uh, any, awesome. Any sort of small, or even laser beak. <laughs> yeah. He'd be part of the Jack class, the scientist class. Yeah, I'll be a really uh -huh. tiny one that's uh, crazy hard to hit mm -hmm. and annoys everyone to death. <laughs> Well, like well, does that in the like cartoons. One bar help, like the, the equivalent of it, the new game. Yeah. 
one clip, one round. <laughs> well, he's got lasers. You don't get rounds with lasers. He's got lasers. They can charge. It, yeah. They can charge. <laughs> and you could perch on top of the buildings and stuff. perch on top of the buildings. Unless you walk all over yeah. the laws of physics like in Metroid Prime Hunters. Where you have ammo on your laser uh -huh. rifle. <laughs> <laughs> Supposedly Metroplex will be playable. We'll see. Nah. Well, not online, probably not. Well, yeah. Also, I I know people have the idea of it would be cool if like each player controls a limb for combiners online, but I don't see that working at yeah. all. I remember, um... Because you know a lot of players won't cooperate. Yeah. On Sabertron, yeah. somebody yeah. brought up a good idea somebody of good idea having... Of well, having there was a few different great ideas. Well, One was that you could basically change it or have it so that it's three people form a combiner like they had in, like, Cybertron and, and Robots in Disguise and everything, like, uh, with the rail, with the, uh, train. Rail, yeah. Um, rail racer, yeah. Or there was somebody else who had an idea where... Basically, one player takes care of movement. Uh, another player takes care of basically the left arm. Another player takes care of the right arm, and then the other two people take care of like shoulder cannons. Okay, I uh, that was the idea I thought would be pretty good. Was uh, one player controls the movement, like whoever summoned the combine or whatever, and then the other players control like the weapon systems and stuff like turrets that are mounted and whatnot. Yeah. That would be fine. And another one controls like the left eye. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, with with Look the people who are controlling like one arm, you, what you I imagine you can do is not only like like punching movements, but you can just slam your fist on the ground, create a shockwave or some sort. You can pick people up. You can squeeze them. <laughs> Maybe you'll have guns of your own. <laughs> Someone else brought up the idea of maybe just have a multiplayer mode where you play as combiners instead. Yeah, yeah, you could that do that too. That wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, and then or, somebody else. Uh, or a mode. <laughs> Go ahead. Or a mode of like, uh, you know, four players versus one combiner. Mm -hmm. uh, where one player uses the combiner, then the other uh, four have to fight them against them, win, or they die and the combiner wins. Okay. Be kind of interesting. Yeah, the, the, the last idea that I can remember that somebody brought up was that it would be like a, a kill streak in multiplayer. Like the nuke, um, basically you call forth a combiner to come through, just rampaging through the multiplayer area, kill everything. Maybe you could, could you could because it's your kill streak, you could control it and start shooting everybody while it walks through the map. For 10 seconds, maybe. Well, yeah, for just walk into the map. It's not gonna like circle around. It's just gonna walk through. It's not gonna like circle around. It's just gonna walk through. Well, how how about oh, yeah. make it humorous and just have uh, have Bruticus if you're just having guns, just have it casually walk through the map and just stomp on anyone and like yes. dust kicking up everywhere. Or you can just have them completely angry. Bruticus, angry. Yeah, you can have a whack. Yeah, you can Yep. Or you can pick up like a part of a like some graphical facade in the background that's not accessible by normal means, and just rip it out of the floor or whatever, and <laughs> cross players with it or something like a club. Yeah, there's all kinds of ideas we could spawn from that. I mean, even even you could have the the combiner like like show up over the map, like he's hovering over the map, and then just like rain down fire. Just like break that water. And aiming at everybody. Yeah. Now another idea I had was for kill streaks. <coughs> I always thought it would be neat if they put in orbital bombardment. That would be so fun. Mm -hmm. You have a bird's eye view of the map. Kind of like uh, oh the helicopter or whatever from Call of Duty. You have. Uh, yeah, you have a bird's eye view of the map, and basically you can just aim and shoot. For, until the time runs out, just shoot at players. Uh, or this one is just for humorous purposes. If if your Autobots kill streak, 25 kill streak, 
call in Optimus Prime. <laughs> <laughs> and then just watch as everyone gets helplessly destroyed. Roll out. It's like a like, sorry, it's like a VIP in uh, the first section A, ridiculous health and absurd attack power. Call in the uh, perfect AI, that perfect aim, oh, oh, hit no. shots everybody. Oh, yep, overshield shotgunner. Yeah. Especially if it's Optimus. Especially if it's, oh, yeah, if it's, if it's uh, Optimus, he always gets a headshot. Doesn't matter what you do. You can even be in vehicle mode and you'll somehow get a headshot off of you. Because he's Optimus like that. Uh, give me your face. Oh, you could come through and start ripping people's oh, faces off. Yeah. Oh, if he gets close. Yeah. He just automatically yeah. just sticks his axe in your head and rips it out like poor Megatron in Dark of the Moon. Now let's boil with people who uh, haven't watched Dark of the Moon. <laughs> There's plenty of good ideas for kill streaks. I, a friend of mine thought it would be cool for like leader class, if they indeed still have that, I would assume. Uh, War cry, take that away as an ability and make it a kill streak instead. Yeah. That would be more balanced. Yeah. <clears throat> I always found the uh, soldier. Seven kill streak, kind of useless. Well, uh, that same friend of mine managed to kill all five of the enemy team with one Omega missile because they were bunched up. You know what you're doing with it and you know how to aim it well. You can do a lot. Yeah, I like slow. That's the real drawback to that slow and can collide with things easy. Instead, have them carry their tank gun and have it like a rapid firing kind of thing. <laughs> That'd be cool. Nah. But the scientist one. Um, instead of a nucleon shot cannon, I'm thinking more like like short term invulnerability. Well, even that's not very useful with the the scientist because I mean, really, the weapons besides the EMP shotgun and the the rifle. If you've got good aim and you don't have to zone, to scope in all the time, those are the only like quote unquote good weapons. Because the repair ray took forever to kill anybody with. The and the uh, normal gun obviously is the, just the assault rifle. It's just in. It's just there. So even if you were invulnerable, it's like you just go up. You'd have to just sit there melee them and EMP melee and EMP shotgun. Yeah, you're dead. Next person, you gotta reload. Run out of ammo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Going full of Cybertron, I think, which I'm fine with because I love that weapon, up close and personal. Speaking of weapons. Speaking of, of weapons. Uh, oh. they upgrade, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just want to get that clear. Yeah, it says that. Oh. If you buy one upgrade okay. for one gun, it basically carries over for that gun to any character you play that with. So obviously it's it's an upgrade for the gun and yeah. not specifically for a character. Okay, so what I hear is basically that the customization is more com is more complex like Halo Reach, uh, extensive type of customization like, you know, choose whatever the weapon you want and kind of stuff like that. So and, I think that's cool. Too, right? <coughs> Do we have any more information so. on players or is it just all speculation right now? Not yet. We don't have I'm sure it's speculation right now. Look at right now. Uh, a wider color spectrum, I think, is already in there, okay. which is fine with me because I'd like to have a silver on a lot. I want to make Optimus purple. <laughs> <laughs> Shadow black oh, prime. Nemesis. You could make Nemesis prime if you wanted to, like, just make. Oh, dude, somebody asked me to do a video with a black, black. breakaway for, for Dark and Moon. I'm like, I don't even, I don't even know if I can do that. No, <laughs> closest you can get is really dark blue. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Nemesis or Shattered Glass Prime, any sort of variant Prime, or like a 
You could probably mm -hmm. make like a or you could have, Madness Prime, right? Like, or you could you have to... Fabulous Prime. <laughs> you could have Fabulous Prime. Hey, pink and yellow. Wait, well, that's already there. Uh, <laughs> my first name. You can make no. him even more fabulous uh, with even more pink and more yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I would like to have silver and stuff for the Autobot team, not just the Septicons, because silver is the color of Variah. So obviously, that's a must-have for uh -huh. me. I like silver. So silver, you know, all the grays and stuff. Basically, I think it would be best if I just made it to where any class can have any color. Now, <clears throat> an idea I had was... Uh, when you make your character, you not only have the colors and stuff and all the weapons, but uh, I think it's where all the lights and insignias are just neutral on your character. And then basically in like a team-based mode, mm -hmm. uh, your Autobot insignia, if you're on the Autobots, and your lights will turn red and stuff. If you're on Autobots, and you'll get a Decepticon insignia and purple lights if you're a Decepticon. Yeah, that way you have idea. the same chassis. I think that would be pretty cool. That I'm coming because I mean it's not like all the Septicons like in Wolf Cyber John would have the sound wave chassis. I mean Yeah, and they're not all gonna be You would spiky. have a lot of problems. Yeah. And they're not only all gonna be the genericons with the red visors and stuff. Yeah, so hopefully hopefully they could implement that and hopefully there's more customization as far as chassis is concerned. Mm hmm because that... I think you can do arm plating. I'm not sure. That, that would be nice. Because even, I mean, if, if if the free online MMO is supposed to have better customization than, than this, I think that they can come up with something. Yeah. Yeah. That MMO looks good, but I'm still more for the suit em up like War for Cybertron and stuff when it comes to giant robots duking it out. <laughs> Mm. So it's not going to be a shoot 'em up. It's not shooting at all. Mm, no, I'm talking about the uh, uh, Transformers Universe one. Yeah, the MMO. What is? Yeah, I'm sure there's. I'm sure there's. I'm sure there's plenty of shooting and stuff in that. Uh, but I think it's more of a kind of adventurous type of thing, like nice for the older public. Anyways. Anyways. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> back to our regularly, back to our regularly scheduled program. Uh, but the more customization, I think it'd be cool if it is the whole limbs thing, the torso. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's a lot of programming to go into that, but it'd be a good idea to literally make your own transformer and have several different ones. Obviously, classes mm -hmm. can determine, like, you know, the size and vehicle form that you have, but you have a variety of stuff to choose from for the body parts. Mm 